Hey YouTubers! So I got a new sewing tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to make another summer dress and I'm going to use some more of the dashiki um, aka Angelina print cloth. So these are the things that you're going to need. Here is this fabric right here. It is simply gorgeous. I'm loving the yellow and the green and the turquoise. I'm loving it. That's the print right there. So let's get started. These are the areas that you're going to need to measure for your dress. So I'm going to find the length of my top. So from the neck to from the neck to the waist is going to be 17 inches. So I'm going to mark that. And this is with a half an inch allowance. So I'm going to mark that. And then the neck is 9 inches. So when I add a half an inch um, allowance, it gives me 5 inches. If I can just connect that right there. Okay, so... From the neck to the bust is, what is that? Nine inches. So, neck to the bust, nine inches, right here. So, to find where the darts were, I took one of my patterns and I found it, and it basically measures out four inches from the midline. So, that would be, four inches would be right here. I'm coming. So, this would be where my dart would end, um, would stop at on the top of the dress. So now I'm going to measure out the waist of the top part. Now, I don't want the top part to fully enclose my waist. I want it to stop just short of it so that it's like I have like a little bit, a lot of my back hanging out. So I measured 18 inches around um, where I want the top part to be. So 9 inches right there. So it would be 18 inches. Um, and then um, duh, 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 duh. the next thing I want to do is basically my bust. So the largest part of my bust, when I measured from basically from armpit to armpit, it measured out to be 19 inches. So I measured out nine and a half. I actually measured out to be 18, but I wanted to give myself half an inch um, allowance on each side. And then um, what I then wanted to do was connect the neck and the um, my bust width. So using a ruler, I'm going to connect that. And I just want to connect it all the way down. Okay. Now I'm going to connect the waist. Okay. So this is where my dart is going to be. So um, I measured the distance from here to that is four. So that means I need to eliminate four from here. So that's going to be my dart. So I'm going to draw a line down. I'm going to make it slightly slanted. And that's going to be the middle of my dart. And then I'm going to put in two inches in between. Because mind you, it's four inches on this side and four inches on the other side. So then I'm going to connect these two. Okay, so that's going to be my dart right there. So for the neck, you cannot dismiss your actual natural neck curve. So I'm going to curve it down a little bit. And this is going to be the pattern for the top part of my dress. So I cut one yard of the fabric. Again, you know it's a yard when you um, use the fold. So I cut one yard of it. I folded it in half. And then since I'm trying to use the middle of this pattern right here, what I did was I folded this side over too. I folded that side over on the line so that it'd be even. And then I'd iron it so it'd be flat. So I'm just going to cut on this fold line. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting it so that it will be my lining too. I was going to use a white lining, but I chose not to since this kind of folds directly onto the pattern. And it's not going to show um, any designs on the clear yellow part of it. <clears throat> this is going to be the top part right here. It's already inside out. This is the um, right side out. So I'm just going to separate these two. I did it was I take a pin I stick it in I lift this part right there I see where it was and then I mark it and I do the same thing here also but here I have it right there so I don't have to stick it in right or anything I just go in and mark here mark there and then connect those to the middle part and then to transfer it onto the rest of it you just put the pin there you go to the wrong side of the fabric where the pin meets you mark it then you mark it same thing down here stick the pin there 
you flip to the wrong side of the fabric, you mark it. Same thing, you mark it there. So you keep marking it until you have all your darts marked out. Then you want to sew that together. So here, I have sewn both of them, put the darts in there. So what you want to do is you want to put the right side of both the lining and the part that's going to face the outside on top of each other, align it, and then seam them together, okay? So that For the halter straps, I cut the bottom pattern of my fabric. You want to fold those pieces over on the wrong side, sew them together, and then turn them inside out. Okay, so with this side facing up, what you're going to do is, you're going to go ahead and take the right side that you want to face outwards, put it in between the lining and the fabric itself, align it so that it's straight, sew down the seam again to keep it in place. So after you sew it and flip it around, this is what it's going to look like, okay? So we're, we're done with the top part of the dress, we're going to go to the bottom part. Okay, so for the skirt part of it, um, usually I use three yards, but instead of using three yards, what I did was I chose to go with the stamp, the number of stamps. So this right here would be one stamp. I'm going to use three stamps for the skirt. So I have three stamps for the skirt. If you're not going to be using this type of material, then just go with my usual favorite, which is um, three yards. So I'm going to cut off the top part, which is the, the band, and I'm going to use that as my waistband. Now for the skirt, what I did was I pleated them with um, pins. So basically what you want to do is just kind of like fold it. I didn't make them neat because I'm not trying to get neat pleats. I don't want to iron them out so you can like see the defined creases. I just want them to be kind of flowy in the skirt. So you fold them over and then you just pin them to keep them in place. Do the same thing. And then just kind of pleat, pin them to keep them in place. So you want to do this around the whole perimeter of the skirt like I've done right here. And then set this aside while you make the waistband. Okay, so for the waistband, um, I'm going to use this pattern right here. So I'm going to fold it on the wrong side with the wrong side facing up, and then I'm going to sew this together. Then I'm going to turn it inside out like I did for the straps. So if you don't have the tool to turn this out and you can't find a crochet needle, after you finish sewing them together, use your finger and just push it through. You want to turn it inside out the right way and then iron it. So iron it so that it's flat. So for the waistband, you want to measure out your waist, which my waist is 27 inches. Measure out your waist at 2 inches and then cut that off. Lay out your skirt. Try and keep it as straight as possible. And pin it to the waistband. So there we go right there. That's a perfect, perfect. And just pin it. Okay, so after you sew the bands on the skirt, you then want to pin the skirt to the top part. So you want to make sure that you have an even space on either side, on both sides of the um, skirt so that it basically puts the middle piece in the middle of you and then the back can just kind of wrap around you. So I'm going to sew this on and then I will try it on and see what it looks like so far. So I've sewed the band onto it and next thing I'm going to do is sew the skirt closed. So by popular request, people have asked how I put my zipper on. I'm not a professional. I am a beginner. I'm like starting this out with no assistance from anyone but YouTube and pattern books. But this is all me. So where you're going to put the zipper, you want to iron it down flat. I made a little boo-boo here. This isn't long enough. I don't know if you can see it. This isn't long enough, but I'm going to make it work. You align your zipper to um, the seam. And then you can baste stitch it. <clears throat> I don't baste stitch it because that's just too much work for me. I just go on ahead and just pin it. This is what it should look like after you finish pinning the zipper to the back of your skirt. Put it back down, sew over it. I go back, just to keep it in pace. I know I shouldn't, but I told you, I'm a beginner, so I'm gonna do what makes me comfortable. And then pick up the foot, turn it, and I'll finish down this side. 
Mm. Yeah. So after you finish sewing the zipper, this is what it will look like. So after putting the zipper on, I tried it on and the top part, I didn't like the way it fit. So I put it on and I kind of folded it in over on itself, if you can see that. And I like the way that looked a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew just a little bit probably from the top to about here. And the same thing here. And I'm going to keep the folds because they did look cute like that. So After sewing the neckline, I hemmed the dress and I was pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe for more videos from us. So until we meet again, enjoy the rest of your week.